Hey guys, it's Rich, and uh, welcome back to Dad's Fox Body Garage. I just wanted to follow up uh, with the last video. I uh, mentioned I was going to uh, swap meet, looking for a blower for the old uh, Calypso here. And uh, didn't get lucky, uh, but did pick up a few things. I uh, wanted to uh, share with you what we picked up, and uh, let me switch this around here. So, uh, able to get a couple of uh, cheese graters 30 bucks no uh, chips that I see there's some scratches but uh, you know we're gonna be sanding these down and painting them Calypso green anyways I uh, picked up a uh, carb spacer can't remember the name of that material but uh, helps with the uh, heat transfer more than one inch uh, just because uh, you know why not it's 10 bucks right and I also picked up this guy here. Uh, you know, I wanted to get something not necessarily for the engine start feature, which, you know, it looks cool and all. But I uh, wanted to be able to isolate the ignition and the fuel pump and then have one master switch where I can just, like, shut everything down when I want to. Um, so that's going to be one of the projects I'm probably going to pick away at this week. I got a, a marine fuse panel, so I'm going to do this all independent. But then, at the same time, it's going to be wired to the key, right? So, um, I'm going to bypass that by now and just go right to the battery to the fuse panel, come to the switches, you know, get it running this winter. Uh, but then once I get the floor in and dash in and all that, well, the, the patch in the floor... Um, then I can uh, I can isolate it to the key. So as long as the master's on, the car will start and run normally. But I'll be able to shut the ignition off. If I want to say you know crank it over without spark or you know turn the fuel pump off. Um, I don't know. It's something that's not really needed, but I think it's a, a neat process or a neat thing to have. And I also got a bunch of relays here. Um, I don't know if you can see these. A bunch of relays I'm going to put in. So the switches won't be wired direct. They'll be wired to relays. So there's not like a heavy current running through the relay. Again, I'm just doing this because I think it's safe and it's a smart way to go. You know, I'm making Frankenstein here. So uh, always good to have some uh, safety involved. And, uh, you know, from what I heard, you know, that's the way to go. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, uh, spent the last hour or so uh, uh, shortening up these uh, spark plug wires. I guess I could have shortened up a couple little more, but it was mainly to uh, put the 90 degree boots on there for the uh, GT40P heads that I have. Uh, I won't lie to you, I'm kind of having second thoughts about these, but it's a little bit too late. Um, probably should have gone with just the GT40 heads. Um, but they presented themselves, but by the time I sunk money into these suckers, uh, and seeing heads at the swap meet, I could have just bought a set of aluminum heads. I mean, I got 600 bucks into these, maybe, I don't know. Well, maybe not that much, but anyway, it was a lot of work and, uh, having to go with the 90 degree boots, um, you know, I think it solved a problem. I'll switch it around here and give you a closer look here. You know, the big problem with these you hear across the internet is, uh, you know, you're roasting spark plug wires. We can see this is the tight side, and there's at least three eighths of an inch on the closest one. No, it's more like half inch between the header and the uh, the boot. And then over on this side, you know, it's it's pretty much wide open. So I don't think it's really as big a deal as people say, as long as you use the proper boots. But I will say, when it's time to change the plugs, I'm probably going to have to drop a header. But, live and learn. Uh, you know, maybe Calypso 2.0 will get a set of nice uh, aluminum heads on here. But this is the road I took this time. And, uh, yeah, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, that's about it for now. Um, the swap meet was 
was a lot of fun. Like I said before, I met a friend of mine out there, and uh, he and I have been friends since high school. Uh, always have a good time together. Um, we were gearheads back in the day. Um, you name it, you know, we were on. We have there's plenty of stories to tell, I guess, and reminisce about. You know, motorcycles, cars, you name it. Uh, we we always have a good time together and still do. So uh, again, you know, she's coming along. It's getting close. I think the next thing I'm going to do is probably pop this cap off, set it aside, drop my uh, my dummy distributor in there. You know, stick a drill motor on that. Or, you know, when it's time to build some pressure. And uh, probably going to uh, do some wiring like I was showing you. Get the fuel pump wired up. Get the ignition wired up. Uh, still have, uh, oh, I might show you my hangers from my uh, fuel system. You know, this still has to be done. But these guys here. They're uh, three eighths rubber coated. Uh, I'm gonna get some uh, self tappers and zip them into the floor. Uh, get my fuel pump all nice and secure. But uh, try to get this stuff wrapped up. Um, getting the bug to to fire this thing off. But uh, this week I'm gonna try to. Uh, Get down to the speed shop and get that supercharger ordered up. Uh, we we specked out one last week. I was really hopeful that we'd find something at the swap meet, but nah, they they had a couple pieces of junk there that were overpriced. Not not what I'm looking for, but um, I think we're gonna go with the uh, wind. Uh, I think it's called a 174, so it's 174 cubic inches every time it rotates. Um. Probably go with the polish kit, you know, if I'm going this far, I might as well, might as well get the polished one. And uh, get that on order. They said that that's going to be uh, right around April as far as delivery. So, you know, they're not sitting around on the shelf. I believe the bodies are all the same. It's just the uh, front drive unit that's different on those, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time. Um, between Ford and Chevy is what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm hoping they got bodies and maybe we just got to wait for a component or something like that. Um, anyhow, I'll get that going. And like I said, this week, start to uh, wrap up that wiring at least so we can fire it off. And um, I, I really need to look into uh, either buying a welder borrowing a welder something is better than what i have you know i have uh this is what i have here you know it did a decent job i should say on penetration on uh, the shock tower that i rebuilt i mean you can't even tell it it turned out really nice but that's not because of a lack of work yeah i uh you know the wells weren't pretty i had to grind the crap out of them and it you know, it is what it is, but I think if I had a better machine that was uh, gas, not just flux core, um, it'll probably work better. And I really want to get something going or get something better before I uh, tackle that hole in the floor. You know, that, I don't know, it just, it, I think it'll just make life easier. And not that the floor has to be pretty, but... Um, yeah, it's just a hassle. I want to. I want to do something about that. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, once I get that wiring, I want to wire it in a way that I'll be able to kind of undo part of it and then wire it into the the dash so it'll still drive. It'll still start and and run normal. I don't want it to be like some kind of race car where you gotta hop in and click a bunch of buttons and uh before you can even start the thing but anyhow uh that's the plan and uh i think i'm gonna head in i'm about tired of uh, being cold out here 
even with the uh, wall heater here it uh it just kind of maintains about I don't know I think it's about 45 degrees out here and uh, kind of tired of smelling the torpedo heater today so I didn't even fire that one up but uh, I'm gonna head in warm up and uh, I'll get back with you on the next one thanks for watching